Are you teaching a unit on Earth and Space to Year 5? Let's take a look at the national curriculum expectations and how you can fulfil them in your teaching. The first national curriculum statement is to describe the movement of the Earth and other planets relative to the Sun in the solar system. This means understanding the heliocentric nature of the solar system, the fact that all planets orbit the Sun. This, Key Stage 2, Geocentric versus Heliocentric PowerPoint, provides a simple and concise explanation of the geocentric and heliocentric interpretations of the solar system. The presentation should only take between 10 and 20 minutes to show to your class, so you could pair it with a fun activity, such as this, Space Word Search for ages 9 to 11. This word search begins with a closed procedure activity where children must use their knowledge or research the correct word to fill in the gap in the sentences before finding the word in the word search. It's a great way to increase familiarity with key language around space and the solar system and could be used as an opening to independent writing activities. The next national curriculum statement states that children must describe the movement of the moon relative to the Earth. These stunning Phases of the Moon mindfulness colouring sheets are the perfect way for everyone to relax whilst also learning about the phases of the moon. The Phases of the Moon PowerPoint included in this fabulous School Closure Space Day resource pack for ages 7 to 11 will take children through all they need to know about the moon and the moon's phases. Children can also label the phases of the moon with this Phases of the Moon labelling worksheet included in the pack. The pack also includes many exciting cross-curricular space resources, such as this spag mystery of the stolen spacesuit, some space-themed times tables mosaic colouring worksheets, other science space resources, such as this day and night worksheet, the solar system fact hunt activity, and a space crossword. And to relax, some fun space-themed mindfulness colouring pages. National Space Day is celebrated annually on the first Friday of May, which would be a great day to choose to teach your class all about space. Although, of course, you can have a space day any day of the year. This Moon Art Key Stage 2 craft activity helps children to understand the link between the moon and the tides on Earth. Children can follow the craft instructions to demonstrate where on Earth low and high tides occur. The next national curriculum objective is that children should describe the Sun, Earth and Moon as approximately spherical bodies. For this, our AR Quick Look models are a brilliant way for children to get a clear overview of the shape of these bodies. Finally, children should use the idea of the Earth's rotation to explain day and night and the apparent movement of the Sun across the sky. This sundials worksheet gets children to create their own sundial and write a scientific explanation about how sundials work. To find out where we get day and night, children can do this day and night science experiment, in which they use a globe and a torch to discover how the Earth's rotation causes night and day. I really hope you found this video helpful and that your Year 5 students have a lot of fun using these fantastic resources to meet the Year 5 national curriculum objectives. You can find these and many more space resources available on the Twinkle website. And did you know, you can even search by curriculum aim to find the perfect resource to help you help your children meet the curriculum standards. Do head on over to our website to find whatever you need to help you out as you're teaching your students about space. And let us know how you find our resources with your comment and star rating. We always love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.